Hey guys, I'm at Solana Breakpoint, Solana Breakpoint 2024. This is my very first Breakpoint conference since I'm here in Singapore. I'm like, man, I gotta check this out. Look behind me, there are so many people, so many booths, so many projects. You guys know I love Solana, so I can't wait to talk to some of these projects. Let's do it. So I'm here with Jesse from Sanctum. Jesse from yeah. Sanctum, uh, which is a liquid staking platform on top of Solana. Yeah. And you guys launched this year, you said? Well, we launched uh, in 2020 as a social finance, but uh, okay. we rebranded this year with the Wonderland Season 1. Uh, probably some people know, know us. Uh, you know, we kind of gained a lot of popularity through that. But we're less of a liquid staking platform. We were liquid staking ecosystem. Okay. We're trying to launch millions and millions of LSTs, all in different spectrum, doing different things. And by doing so, we're trying to create the diversity and bring in the Cambrian explosion of the ideas into the liquid staking ecosystem. Wow, okay. So for our viewers that are not familiar with liquid staking or what your vision is, can you share a little bit more about sure. that? Yeah, the Solana staking, uh, a native staking we usually call it, uh, has some UX problem and of course people, people still do it, but there are many, many different ways that you can approach it. By liquid staking, uh, what we mean is like liquidifying it, like you, you basically issue a liquid staking token to represent uh, the value that is captured on on-chain staking. Uh, but that in and of itself is um, kind of hard to represent uh, the, the what kind of user user experience problem that we can solve. And with that, we're trying to like kind of increase the number of ideas. So then like, I can give you an example. For example, uh, the validator LSD that we kind of championed, which is uh, each single validators can now issue uh, their, their token. Okay. Their liquid staking token, basically. Okay. The liquid staking token with only one validator that, that they're delegating. Okay. That, you might think like, oh, that's basically the same thing. What is the difference? That way they can actually market towards the people who's only uh, kind, of, kind of familiar with the token system, right? The uh, plane of staking, you go into like different tab, click, and then your token disappears. People are like, oh, where's my token? Right. You know, they, they, they get confused about this uh, uh, UX. Right. No, we can solve that problem with uh, launching uh, validator LSD. On the other spectrum of this whole thing, we have Flojo also. We're launching, we're on the big stage in, uh, in, in about an hour. Nice. Uh, we're going to be talking about the first DeFi project that asks you your address, and then you, we're going to send you actual physical goods. So we have a drink, uh, there are stations that you can get the Flojo drink. Okay. It's a drink, a uh, little bit carbonated drink with zero sugar. Uh, it's got alpine in it. So it flow plus mojo, Flojo. <laughs> uh, a lot of people love it. Like uh, in, our, in our office, like everybody loves it. Um, uh, by the way, where are you based out of? Uh, all of my uh, co-founders are Singapore based. Uh, okay. I'm based in South Korea. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so like this Flojo is a drink that people actually drink and they want to launch their product using LST. Wow. Think of LST as a yield streaming uh, primitive. You take the yield and then basically use it as a subscription stream, basically. Yeah. So that's a very, very weird idea. Right. By doing so, we want to expand the whole market of this LST, like what it means to be an LST. So basically any project, you can utilize this model, yes. right? So that is that what you're trying to do? Just yes. get brands and projects to come aboard? That's what you're talking about, exactly. right? Yeah. Man, I wonder what's around here. Like, it, it's so packed in here. I really don't know what to expect. Wait, oh. Scott, you're, you're so old. Don't even think about it. I, don't even think I about bet it. you you can't even do one. I'll I challenge you. I, I bet you I can I, be I, more than you. I know you could do more right now, but on four hours of sleep and yeah. two or three days, I should be able to do one, or I just should give up. I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> I'll do one. What are we doing? Which way do I go in this bitch? Like this? She has it. One, <laughs> two, and that's it. That's, that's all, all you I, got in you? No, uh, maybe another one, but oh, if, you, on, if you give me four more hours of sleep, you maybe train? I'll double it. That's like maybe training I'll double for it. it. Maybe, wait, wait, I'm 87 years old. You are 87. One. Oh, look at you starting to struggle on three. Come on. Okay, you doubled me. 
Hey, you got work. double sleep. Might work. D might work. Double me with double the amount of hours of sleep. I'm here with the CEO of Zangum, Bernie. Um, I'm George, by the way. Hey, I'm Bernie. Good to meet you, George. George. Uh, my audience knows that I'm a big Solana guy and I love the ecosystem. So I'll, I saw Zangum. I'm hoping you can tell me more about your project. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for having me, George. Uh, yeah, so we here at Zandium, we're a Solana scaling solution. Interesting. And now everyone thinks like, hey, why does Solana need to scale? It's already the most scalable blockchain in the world. And that's that was going to be my number one question, actually. Yeah. So and that's actually true with regards to number of transactions per second, but it's not true with regards to storage, right? Oh, really? Okay. So if, if people develop apps on Solana, the only place they can store data, those developers, is in Solana accounts. And those Solana accounts are great as long as you store low amounts of data. So maybe you can get a megabyte in there, but if you write a real app that needs a gigabyte or a terabyte, Solana doesn't scale to that, right? Oh, wow, okay. I never even thought about that. Yeah. Okay, so how do you handle the storage aspect then? Yeah, so we keep all the data on chain, right? Okay. So it's all got to be controlled by the Solana chain. <laughs> but the actual, so the reason the storage is not scaling is because Solana needs to store all the accounts on every single validator, right? They have 2,000 validators on the Solana chain. So. That's why it's not scaling, and we're offloading that to a separate set of nodes. It's going to be called the P-Nodes, and they might be interesting to your audience also, because those are running on cheap consumer computers. You just need a fast disk, and you need a fast internet connection. Okay. And you can run these storage nodes, these P-Nodes, and dedicate them to our blockchain. And it's not a blockchain of its own. It's completely integrated into Solana. And all the apps, the developers that build on Solana, they can use it natively. So that's actually smart contract native. We call that there in our blockchain trilemma. So can users, like, like for me or anyone else, we have a computer that meet the requirements and we basically essentially share our hard drive space. Yeah, so you, everyone, if you run a P-Node at home, you're sharing that with the network. Right. And then build, apps can be built. And we're building a demo app called Zandipedia. And Zandipedia is going to be a fully decentralized version of Wikipedia. So Wikipedia today is centralized. Is that guy that wants our donations each and every year? Right. And he has all the control. If he wants to censor you, he can censor you. Right. If he wants to delete everything I did in July, he can do that, right? But we can build a fully decentralized version, and blockchain and crypto is all about decentralization, right? Without decentralization, we wouldn't be here, right? Right. So that means we can build all these decentralized stuff, and the Wikipedia database is 250 gigabytes. We cannot do it on Solana, we cannot do it on Ethereum, we cannot do it on Avalanche without having a storage scaling solution, and that's what we're pioneering. I just found the Gamer Village and Web3 Gaming is so big on Solana because of how fast it is. Now, we all know Solana has some of the best games out there and I've been dying to get my hands on it. So let's go and check it out. So, hey, nice to meet you. What's, what's, your, what's your name and what's your project? My name is Shiv and I'm the head of business development at Earth from Another Sun. We are at open world MMORPG looter shooter game building on Solana, backed by Solana Ventures, and one of the most fun Web3 games out there. Awesome. For me, this looks a lot like Halo. Is that, what, did that inspire you at all, or So, no? we had an influencer last week call us a mix of Halo and World of Warcraft on steroids. So you can think of it as um, intense sci-fi battlefield environments in FPS, and you can command a spaceship in the middle of a galaxy. The idea is to conquer as much of the galaxy as you can. Okay. So is this like tournament style PvP or like PvE? It's the universe environment. So it's PvE. The idea is that you can still play with teams, you can still play with other people. But the idea is that you conquer the galaxy however you can. So you get assets, you can trade them, you can craft them to level them up. And then you can also earn through that. Okay. Is this playable right now or is this just a demo? We're on Alpha 132. So despite okay. being in development six years, we are still in Alpha six, 132 six, updates. Six years? Six years. You started when? 2018. Wow. Wow. Right. 
in, in crypto, normally, if you build a game one or two years, you launch a token and you just try to make money. Right. We've been building six years, no token. Wow. Okay. Patience is the name of the game. Okay. So you're an alpha stage. That's right. What's next? Beta? Beta in the next few months. So okay. eFast.io, E-F-A-S.io, or earthfromanothersun.com. You can check us out. The most fun game in Web3 right now. This is, I don't know how to reload, but man. I, what do you think of this game? This is incredible, actually. This is a. Uh, this is not. I mean, even though this is an alpha, this is a very playable game. It's smooth. The graphics look great. I just got killed by like. I mean, just look at the gameplay right now. No lag. And the controls are very familiar. If you ever played any P PVE game like Halo, for example, Call of Duty, very, very, very similar controls. This is so complete. I, I mean, this is probably this is probably the best game I've played so far in Web Three. Like, hands down. Okay. All right, I'm here checking this out. You have to pick some of your actions up here. So I believe I did three. We will try to fill these right now. And let's just do the first three and see how this works out in this battle. I will click to confirm. The graphics here are very, very nice. And this looks amazing. So we're waiting for the opponent. We have a private battle going on. I just selected. My opponent is selecting. And now we are getting ready to go at each other. So, let's see what the action is. 17 against me, and I got poisoned, dodged, and all the folks want to think the bucket is just good. All right. So let's try a couple different actions here. We're gonna go for the Symbiotic Slash, the Desperate, and the Toxic Boutique. Now I know you're supposed to stack these points right here, even though I have a negative, but right now you can see I'm up to five. Now, I don't have any more uh, characters swap out. You only do that once while having low HP. So I have, uh, let's do that. So right now we will confirm again. We're waiting for our opponent to pick, and let's see. Actually, yeah. Oh, ooh, that was a huge hit and a curse. And. <laughs> oh man. What? Good. Yeah, I'm good. That was good. Yep. Close remarks about it. Yep. This game. Say you won. Oh no. Well, just look at that. Maybe it's beginner's luck. I got a victory. I think the key was switching out my character when my HP got low. But overall, I think this is going to be really fun. The graphics are great. The response and and the battle itself is amazing. So I would definitely check this out. We know that this is on Solana. Solana is fast. And I'm looking to try to get another W coming up. What's up, everybody? Dreamer here. I am at Solana Breakpoint 2024. And you know, we saw this impact summit going on. That's a Star Atlas Summit. Um, over here looking, if I can find Michael Wagner, get some uh, thoughts in, see what's going on. Uh, awesome game, DeFi Kingdoms also coming around the same time. I think we'll have some pretty interesting things to talk about. So let's get it. Nice though. What's up, everybody? I found the man, the myth, the legend, Michael Wagner at his own event, Impact, <laughs> yeah. Star Atlas. How's it going, man? Dreamer, what's up, dude? Good to see you. Uh, yeah, it's good, man. This is first ever, first of its kind for us, inaugural event uh, hosted here in Singapore. We've got Breakpoint right upstairs, a couple PCs there running our Surge uh, shooter gameplay modes, but... This is cool, it's been a series of panels, my keynote, uh, some fireside chats, the community was out here presenting. Ladies and gentlemen, and then, goers, match five is starting and we're missing two players. Should be, okay, and then right back there, uh, we've got the tournament going on right now. So it's a tournament going on right now. Live tournament is happening as we speak. Um, yeah, we've got- Are there awards it. in that tournament? I imagine so. Yeah, yeah, we've, we have $5,000 worth of Atlas up for grabs. We have a medium ship, the Fimble Mamba X. 
over 100 people have signed up. Well, actually, it was capped at 96 uh, to get through the structure, but it's uh, it's going on right now, and we're seeing some pretty hardcore gamers. Do you have any fam- favorites in the running? You know what? Totally random uh, sign up, so I have no idea, and I've been uh, yeah, on stage. He's, he's being political. Uh, you know what? We ran into each other, Bitcoin Nashville, and we're right. like, whoa, we've never met before. Yeah. But if we look back, 2021, we both, DeFi Kingdoms and Star Alice had a lot of success. And then we got hit smacked in the face with everything the world was, was dealing with. Yeah. You have done a tremendous job cultivating your community through that volatility as, as well as growing it. Yeah. If there's any like words of advice to other games out there that will see that volatility to come, we all say community is everything, but it's one thing to prove over years and, and markets to keep it. Yeah. What do you have to say? You know, I think it's, uh, it's, it, it's so hard to say, but I, I will comment on authenticity. I think it's so valuable. You know, we yeah. talk a lot about transparency in the crypto space, but realistically, there's like technological transparency, which is intrinsic to building on blockchain. Yeah. And then there's team transparency and authenticity with your with your community. So, you know, the first thing I- Are you talking I, like AMAs? Or are you talking like quarterly reports? Or how do you really deliver that transparency and authenticity? It, it's not, uh, I mean, there are uh, those facets of it. I'm in the Discord every single day talking to my community, uh, filling them in on what's going on. I mean, the first thing we did, so we got hit by FTX, right? That was a big thing for us. Um, now, I didn't know how that was going to resolve, but within five days, I realized we're not getting that money back. Now, I thought there was a chance originally. I knew we weren't getting it back. I set up a town hall and broke it all down for the community and said, this is what happened, and this is how we're planning to persevere through it. And more importantly, I want you to know, we're not giving up. Like We're, we're persevering. We're fighting, and we're going to do the best that we can to survive. Um, Resilience. Resilience, I think, is a term that is going to really set apart the champions and the winners, especially for us that are building real time. A lot of people raise, they build, and they deliver a product and they see how it goes. We're doing something new here, and it is not easy. With that volatility, FTX and others, you also have to manage the build. So you have these new problems to work through with community, as you're talking to. As you deliver your message, can you think about on the build side, is it affected at all? Or do people just heads down build with no emotional impact at all? I don't think it's possible to build without emotional, at least if you're, you know, you're a passionate builder, you love what you're doing, right? We're doing this for a reason and it's not the money. It's because we believe that we can make an impact and we can deliver a product that people really want. Um, and so I don't think it's possible to remove the emotion. What I will say is I would much rather take the scrutiny and criticism on the game product yeah. <laughs> than on the financial side of like, you know, what we just went through with, uh, with these things markets. you don't control. <laughs> yeah. 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 Externalities that happen, you don't control, but you gotta right. solve them. Hopping right in there, yeah. getting, you know, hitting it head on quickly. What yes. I found is the longer you wait, making sure it's the right message, sometimes it doesn't matter if the message is right. You yes. waited too long, people concluded their own. Exactly. All right. I am here and I am behind the screen with Star Atlas. This is definitely an OG on Solana. And I have to say that they have really done wonders with this. It is responsive, it is fast. The graphics are are just amazing. And look at this, oh, I had got taken out by the side. This is definitely up my alley. We have such great game speed and performance. I'm just trying to find who I can shoot at, and then, oh, will I be able to get this one down? Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Man, Scott, you look absolutely locked in while you're playing this here. Like, would you go home and play this? What do you think of this? I am definitely gonna go home and be playing this. This is fast, it is responsive, and the graphics are just amazing. Web3 Gaming has come so far, and I really just need to dig in more on this and get in and start playing with the community. And I think that you're gonna get involved and play this and you're not gonna wanna put it down. All right, so there you have it. That is Solana Breakpoint 2024 in Singapore. Arguably my favorite conference I've ever been to. It's absolutely crazy that this conference was solely focused on Solana and it was as good as it is. I mean, everywhere you walked, it was absolutely packed. You know, we of course had George, Scott, and Dreamer with us. So let's go down the line and get their closing thoughts about what they thought of Breakpoint 2024. 
I thought the same way. This is my first break point, I think, for all of us. Yep. And what better city to do it in than Singapore? But, uh, yeah, it really opened my eyes. This is a great conference, one of the best I've attended. Um, you know, we talked to a lot of great projects, but I love the vibe. Everyone here is just, like, so energetic. And I love the food setup. I love the way everything looked inside. It's just, I really enjoyed it. I really like this conference. I have to agree. This is by far the best conference that I've been to. The setup of everything, the layout, they put a lot of thought into this. They brought it, put it together in an amazing city. And there was just tons of stuff associated with Salina, obviously with all the side events as well. I mean, you mentioned the food by far the best. Everyone got a chance to, ex to experience the local cuisine as well as just, you know, just kind of a little bit of everything. And why not? I mean, this is by far, like I said, the absolute best. And I am so bullish on Solana, even more bullish now. <laughs> I love the conference. This was my first exposure to Solana. You know, these guys are Solana vets in different ways for memes and trading. Um, you know, I wasn't sure what to expect. I'm a big Avalanche guy, recently met us and a few others. Um, I was impressed. Star Atlas uh, stood out to me though because they were really smart. They didn't just get a booth. They had a whole nother conference linked to it. And as we went in there, we were able to meet the founder, Michael Wagner, be able to talk to other people and see a live tournament going on with rewards. That's what we're trying to do at DFK. That's what we see others trying to do. We should all be trying to go to these conferences, play the game, focus on community, and have fun. Well, there you have it. Thanks for tuning in. Smash the likes, subscribe to the channel, and remember, he's George, and we're all George.